In the Holy Land, the Marian month ended with different events held in various cities. On the day when the church recalled the visit of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth, a mass was celebrated at Ain Karim in the church that preserves the memory of that event. We are present here in the place where everything happened. It is not simply an act of faith of the past. It is important to be here. Taking part in this Mass is therefore very gratifying, very special for all of us. The Franciscan Sanctuary of the Visitation is located on the mountains of Judea. Every year, the friars come up here on the last day of May to celebrate Mary's meeting with her cousin, Elizabeth. The example of Mary should always be kept in mind and above all lived and practiced in life, as well as her attitude of faith, humility, humble service and charity, in addition to the joyful life and happy perception of our vocation. Only in this way, through the life of Mary, can we become disciples as she was a disciple of her son. During the Mass, some friars received the ministry of lector and acolyte, two stages in preparation for the ordination to the diaconate and the presbytery. Receiving the ministry of acolyte on this day in this place is very special because as Mary served God from the first moment, so I will try now with this new ministry. I want to serve in a complete and truthful way, pleasing to God as the Blessed Virgin Mary did from the first moment. At the end of the Mass, those present process from the Church of the Visitation into what is called the Fountain of the Virgin, the place where, according to tradition, Mary greeted Elizabeth and sang the Magnificat. In Nazareth, the last day of May was celebrated in the Basilica of the Annunciation. The faithful participated in great numbers to pray the Rosary and later they attended the Solemn Mass. Mary always helps us understand what she said at Cana. Listen to what he tells you and put it into practice. This was always the message of the month of Mary, during which we came to hear the word of God, trying at the same time to put his word into practice in our personal relationships, in the parish life and the society in which we live. In Jerusalem, the last Sunday of May, the festival took place in the Church of the Saint Savior, headquarters of the Franciscan custody. The Mass was presided over by the parochial vicar, Monsignor William Shamali, in the presence of the local Christians. The people in procession were holding the image of the Virgin Mary. They left the church and walked the streets of the Old Town in a climate of faith and great devotion. I participated every year in the procession, but this year is different because I'm dressed as Mary. It's something very special and different from the other times. The blessing was imparted to the faithful in three different places. On the patio of a Christian school, in the Latin Patriarchate, and on the patio of the convent of St. Savior. This is a sign of the fact that the population of Jerusalem is always faithful to its traditions and to its promises to the Mother of Heaven. Even in Palestinian territory, the veneration for the Virgin Mary has retraced the steps of the local religion. A procession went from the Kremisan Valley to the seminary of the city of Beit Njala near Bethlehem. The faithful expressed all their love for the Virgin Mother of God by singing and reciting the Rosary. Every day we went to church to pray the rosary, to turn our intentions to Mary. We asked for the poor, for the needy, and for those who suffer. We were one family honoring the Virgin Mary, who is our mother, the mother of the church, which defends and protects us.